Ah, oh, said the raven, as it perched on a rooftop in Bruma. Hello, and welcome back to the Elder Scrolls for Oblivion. And to Bruma, where we are to report back to the Grey Fox with the successful news that we've been in and below the Temple of the Moth Priests without killing any of the Moth Priests and stolen a certain stone. We've also obtained information that a certain cow was of the monk's interest. Well, the Grey Fox is waiting for you. That's very kind of you to say that in the middle of the open street. And he's downstairs. Well, that's... I hear the monks were most hospitable. Uh, that's him. That's what he is wearing. Uh, Sevilla Stone. My sources tell me that Sevilla's stone has gone missing. Do you have it with you? Uh, yes, here is the stone. Capital! Now I can see past the palace defenses. Oh, it's a good thing the Emperor didn't know they had this stone. He would have had it destroyed or taken it from them and kept it under lock and key in the palace. When I have learned what I need to know, I will call for you again. Let us leave Helvius' house now. He has served me well and deserves his peace. Uh, that... Well, I Shadow hope Lord. that he is... 500 gold! Well, that's kind of meager, but... Oh! There was a quest update there. Hmm. The Grey Fox may be contacting me soon. Until then, I sell... I s Until then, I sell more property, stolen property to the guild fences like Orin. I'll need at least 700 gold worth of stolen goods to get his attention. And... How are you? Off. I've reached my goal. Yeah, we have about... 2,300 or something. More than enough. Uh, another messenger from the Grey Fox. Right. So, that wants me back to the Imperial City, which, I suppose the Imperial City is a good central place where, you know how I've been whining about how having to go to Every corner of the of uh, of Cyrodiil from odd places. Now, if you happen to be in the center, the journey is not that long. So, I think that is a most agreeable disposition. Though I could just as easy just hang around in Bruma, but I don't think that would make for as good a video. I don't know what to show you, as I could. Well, I could of course try to break into the homes I'm not yet broken into, but really. What would the point of that be? I've already stolen more than I need. Right, world map. There is my goal, yes. Hmm. We could bash some goblins that plundered mine. What is this? Toadstool Hollow. Well, we can take these three here for a start and. Uh, then see where we go to next. So that uh, thief of this. Well, he's still alive, which suggests that a no ah! no random encounters have spawned near him, and or b. He have been able to fend off when it was needed. What? Do not go casting fireballs at me, you.
two most driving forces here. It's good that both Blunt and Blade are so low and in regard also hand to hand because that means that we can keep leveling up and thus keep getting stronger. At least that's the idea because as soon the way this works as soon as you no longer can level up any major skills your character has reached its maximum level. So obviously, for going for the strongest build with the most character levels, as you gain more hit, ten, a tenth um, of your fortitude in hit points um, every level, would actually be to pick major, sp major skills that are slow to level up, like security, Something like that. All right, Goblin. Oh, we got company. Look out your head. That'll do. That'll do. I know they got blood on the vein. Well, there wasn't a knock knock, so I suppose it's fine. For the time being. What? Did I shake the wall? Apparently I did. I only remember clicking once, but well, seems I may have been very e efficient in clicking at one time, or just decided to, you know what, let's. Uh... How's the investigation going, mate? Silver arrows. Are we using the right type of arrows? Like the one? No, we have more glass arrows. Okay. Steel arrows are low down, but then again, I have had a mantra in place of not picking up more steel arrows for the time being. So glass arrows do a lot of damage. At least compared to steel and silver. Oh, good to go. Where are you going? Win in Archer Wars, mate. Particularly because I can punch. Ooh, more of them. Three feather. Ooh, let me get that back. Oh, oi! Yeah. War Chief. What's the difference between a War Chief and a Warlord? Well, they're both ugly. Yeah. And they can't take a hit for a good word. Well, the mine seems finally silent. Only a 
We don't like to see where people are and are not. Steel arrows are a no. Ooh, New York. I'll take that. Decent equipment. Skirmishers are usually what you want to go for if you're looking for the most loot per goblin. Ah, well this is messy. The war chief didn't have anything to him. Hmm. Is that a dagger or? Mm, it almost sounded too light for a dagger. Ah, well. So, war chief. Now, war lords are apparently just common goblins, but at a high level. Where to a war chief? Is the actual leader of the uh, tribe or clan? Or... Don't think there's more in here. What were you, a berserker? How did that work out for you, silver short sword? Yeah, good luck going berserk with that. Why don't you try going frenzy with a shiv while you're at it? Okay, so clear in this direction. Mm, I have been in here before, it's merely a matter of... Oh, there's a sub level, plundered mine abandoned works. Well, that is where we are going. Might as well be... ...thorough when it comes to clearing out goblins. After all, they're close enough to Bruma to potentially pose a threat. And if not, they are close enough to the road to pose a threat to anyone who wants to travel. Hello! Ooh, I think that was his forehead. Well, come on. Uh, Alright, you get the axe. Blocks get increased, why? Oh, I heard that big block. Hmm, you can keep your steel arrows. And your leather shield is not interesting to me either. You seem to remember that this sub level is fairly large. Mm, well, it's not that bad. I think that can't be cleared. I would not have shot him, at least not have delivered the killing blow with arrows. Oh well, can't change the past and I'm not that skilled in necromancy to, to raise a goblin from... Oh, so it does take two at a time. Okay, good, good. I was unsure if that was the case, but... Oh! Why you no leave no knock knock for me? You ain't need him. 
I need him. as if they are here. Yay! Knock knock! Ooh. Oh, fuck! Day. Yeah! Hmm. Yeah! Oh! Oh, we for carry weight. Mm. Oh, we're good. Got about 50. That'll do. Since I don't plan on picking up a whole lot of warhammers, it should not be a problem. Is it something about that one of these tents being enterable, as in actually being a room of its own? Oh, possibly, possibly, possibly. Speaking of of its own, whoop. I'm not sure what you're trying to do there, mate. But. Well, he did it. Uh, what? Oh. Another shaman. Whoop. That looked like it went right down the cleavage. Well, I'm not sorry about that. I was aiming lower. So, if anything, I'm sorry for my... Ah, no! Upper abdomen. And no one down the pit. Oh, well. Does not seem like it... No, this wasn't the place with an enterable tent. Well, you can enter both tents, but they aren't... Is that a goblin head? Huh. Not sure that would be my first choice in terms of... Arcane focus, but... Well, I'm not a goblin, so... I'm not to say what's, what's working for a goblin and what's not. Okay. Was there a chest? No. There is. Uh, oh. hmm. Is that? Mm. No, it does not seem like it because here is not marked anything off. It looks more like a an abyss more than. Ooh. Wow. Oh. For a second, it looked like a chest not. Uh, where was the way out? Uh, up there. That's fairly easy to see actually now that I think about it. Just in case. We'll sort anyone that gets in our way if any. Could be a goblin decides to wander back this way and I'll have to teach him why, that's a bad idea. Not that I might. It's just something you have to do from time to time. Well, seems clear. Right. Hmm. How did long did that take? Oh, about 20 minutes. Well, with the intro and all, uh... <laughs> That was a bit longer than I expected. Forgot about the sub-level. Sub well, we shall go towards the Imperial City and leave other questing for oh. another day. After all, Want to tangle with you? Okay. Oh, I was about to say, are you paralyzed? Nope, you're just dead. Yep, 
Yeah? Kid yourself, fool. I wasn't attacking, I was casting a spell on myself. I do not consider that to be attacking. So a glass arrow with stealth it is enough to take a bear down. That's good to know. Just in case I find myself sneaking in areas where bears are present. At least the brown bears. Black bears? Ah! They are more of an inconvenience. Perhaps we can even level up if we play our cards right this. So we need... Not a liar. I could just... It's easy just bat it, but... Eh. I'm kind of in a hurry. Plus, if I get something that won't go down, or something that spot me, well, I can go... Huh! Mistake! Elven armor! You're uh, behind on schedule. Friend. It's so outdated. It's not even last level, it's like what, 10 levels? If not more. Hey! More! Minotaur Lord! I believe that judging from the coloration and the. Oh! That did not do a lot of damage. Alright! Too close range it is! Here's a tip, mate. If your head is your main weapon, don't swing your head into my axe. The axe will come out victor victorious there. At least it should. Uh, I believe I have taken that greater power a long time ago, even, so, yeah. Not even bothering. Uh -oh. Really? From that? Okay. Hmm. Should also check... ...to see if we can't level up armor while we're at the entire leveling up deal. All the way down, huh? On the spot. Nice. Oh well. Only lost one hammer from all of that. Well, the hammers lost and are there. Yep. Oh, the, the, there's a door here. Why don't you give me that fight then? Is she an archer? Nope. Okay, well, we'll take this all melee style. If you've started fighting a deer. Oh. I saw you. Want to come out on the road? Yeah. Yeah. Damn you! Ooh. No, you first, I insist. Oh. Oh. Just because our shields kissed does not mean that I embrace you. But my ex did. So I hope you'll take that as a consolation. You can't consolidate the dead. Well, that is true. 
But I can punch a crap and start a crap-based economy. And that's almost as good. Well, lockpicks can be sold, and thus... They are a part of the crap-based economy. You have to look at the larger picture. It's not just looking at... Oh, well, there were 1,000 mod crabs without any loot to them. Yes, true. But there have also been, uh, albeit a lower number, still some crabs with lockpicks and or even money. And some of them also have other items on them, like a knife or something, that, something other. Uh, items that can be sold. And, if they can be sold, there's money to gain, and thus... What? Oh. Did I bump into your lair? Well, I'm terribly sorry about that. I will... Look. I'm giving you a lecture on crap-based economy. Get your wiggly foot out of my face. Thank you. So, where there's items that can be sold, say it with me, you know it, it's a crap-based economy! There shouldn't be anything up here. This is the uh, prison district. Not that we have a problem going in here, we have a couple of times. Mostly unsuccessful, but eh... It is as it is. Market district. Well, convenience as I'm looking to sell some stuff. Some nuggets and... I don't think I've picked up anything else that I need to sell. But it is also night time. So, I think I will make my way towards Methredale's house once more. Because, well, I spent nearly a day waiting for a messenger from the Grey Fox, and I even waited around on the waterfront, but no one came to... Uh, actually, doesn't the... No, the arrow points to what exactly? Southwest. So that's just an exit, or... Oh, it points to Anvil, as that is where our most recently acquired fence is residing. Though I could just as easy run to Bruma or Braville, but I'm not gonna do either of those. Unless, of course, the Grey Fox has a need to send me one of those places, well, then I might as well go. But since I'm not really picking up stolen items, I don't have a excessive need to visit a fence. How do you do? Jumping, mostly. Hmm. But yeah, I waited around for an entire day and no messenger came. And I was like, okay, I have to go to one of the big cities. And they even say, go to the Imperial City if you want. You look skilled in altering. If you want it, uh, if you want the messengers to come to you quickly. And I do. Not that I want to be hasty about getting through this, but it's also about fitting content into each episode. Of course, I can always cut and uh, speed up afterwards, but eh. I prefer it if I can just stick at the one hour mark from the get go. What? Oh no! I can't move. There's a horse in my face. Nah, that's not true. And hit the bridge. Yeah. Hmm. Is it me or is there a lot less Imperial Guard? Nope. There are probably the exact same amount of Imperial Watchmen, which is fine. Oh! Hello? Why are you walking away, eh? I hope I can help. 
Uh, you can try moving your mouse. Uh, Gray Fox. We don't talk about him. Okay, well. So my former Doyen is not powerful. Or... Oh, well, that probably shouldn't break in. Okay, do we have something that needs to be stored? I think not, but well, never hurts to check. Plays in me. Blackwood blade. I mean, so all other types of weapons, axes, hammers, you got an image, an image of what the head of the weapon is looking like, as in what is dealing the damage. But with swords, you get the hilt. So, essentially you're presenting, it's essentially like presenting someone with a gun and saying, here is where you grip the grip. Uh, can I see the rest of the gun? No. Okay. It's a bit weird. Like, why not just pro portray the blade in its shape? Hmm. Uh... Oh yeah, that one was... Hmm. Oh yeah, not bad. I can sell those, probably, unless they're st they are stolen, but I don't think they are. That that might be useful. You can't take that with me. Uh, list of death, pale path map, ascendant, nope. Descendant, nope. A lot of soul gems. Fortified willpower. That is not great. Also, I think. I am running around with a full enchanted set as it is. Helmet. Curious. Boots. Shield. Pants. Well, reuse and gauntlets. Yeah. So I have a full enchanted set of the best light armor that you can get in the game. I don't know if the Crusaders set is better in terms of enchantments, but I believe it's lighter as because it's uh, it's based on a chainmail, if not silver, and it has a lower armor rating, I believe. I haven't checked up on that, but I'm pretty happy with my current set. Also, because I'm doing kind of um, things that the law isn't so happy with, going for the um, going for uh, the uh, Crusaders set requires that I'm sort of holier than thou, and I don't see that being in thread with the, both the Dark Brotherhood and the Thieves Guild. So, uh, yeah. Imagine if I had taken either of those first, and then the Crusaders, and then sub the one of the the last one afterwards. Right. Huh. Hmm. So that is pretty much the only thing that I need to sell. So that is not really a pressing thing. We don't have. Uh... Okay. Well, it's fine. If you can hear background noise, that is because I have a fan blowing nice cold air into my face. Lord knows I need it. I am not a summer person. Oh, I must say. What do you do? Oh. It's good to see you again. I have a message for you from the Grey Fox. Well, that is convenient. I hear I was ready to wait for Methredale to wake up. 
Uh, what is the message? The Grey Fox has a task for you. Meet him at Melintus Ancus's house in Coro. Uh, you joined the thief guild? Yes, I did. After you saved me in Castle Skinrad, I vowed to join. I was having no luck on my own. Now I am running errands for the Grey Fox himself. I owe you much for your help. Well, here, it turns out he, he proved me wrong. I was expecting him to go and they get himself killed. I... So, uh, good on you, I'm going to say. He... Coral. Probably the city closest to uh, the Imperial City in terms of walking distance. And yeah, I think that will do fine. If not, we can always bundle into a cave and stab some spriggans, beat up some bears, mold some minotaurs, uh, undulate some ogres. <laughs> I'm running out of letters. Uh, what else we got? Uh, bash some bandits. Uh, mangle some marauders. Uh, uh, slay skeletons. Ah, that's easy. Uh, hmm. What else kind of creatures and terms for combat are there? Uh, mm. Ah! I ran out. <laughs> Basically, the, going like eh, flatlining. Well, let's see if there isn't a little bandit up here by that rock. A little bandit who might want to. No. Ah, no bandit yet. Eh, no bandit yet. We're going on retirement. Huh, well, you do you, and just find someone else to level up on. We have uh, this dice tower ready, in case. And I've actually, oh, bear, and I've actually acquired some new dice. Rather, I was gifted some new dice, so... Well, I'll be! So, maybe I could use one of those. There usually is a spriggin' around here. Maybe on the other side? Gosh! That's a biscuit! Whoa! Well, nature faction. I remember the first time I went through and nothing happened inside the board and was like, oh, that's fine. And then right as I stepped out here, there was a highwayman. I was like, hey, don't scare me like that. And then I killed him. Highwaymen are like bandits. Will not just attack on sight. They're more the sort of like, boom, I spooked you and I'm real threatening. Give me your money and I'll let you live. And actually, if you pay them off, they will not do anything to you, it'll just be like, yeah, I thought so. Uh, you can also, but that takes a lot of preparation. If you walk up, if you are approached by a highwayman with no money on you and while your character is wearing rags or clothing like that, you can say that you have no money and they will not attack you. If your persuasion is high enough, they might still attack you if, the, if you are not the big type of personality. But that seems a lot of work for someone who is essentially a bandit with another step and what? 
Okay. Hmm. I didn't make this quest active, did I? Nope, I did not. Amusei sought me out and delivered a message from the Grey Fox and to meet him at the home of Melinda's anchors in Kor. He has another task for me. It seems Amusei has finally straightened up and joined the Thief Guild. He's even trusted enough to deliver messages for the Grey Fox. Good for him, I say. Good for him. See, that only took about five minutes. It is the shortest distance between any two cities. Even though Skingrad and Quash looks like they're close, because of the terrain, it's actually impossible to get to Quash easily. Uh, why are you walking... Why are you walking around shirtless? I mean... At 5.37 in the morning. Alright, well... Oh, this... Nope, that's not the place. Elberic Little. No, that is not the place either. Are we in the lower quarters once more? Seems like it. I mean, if you could finish your sentences, that would be great. Right. <clears throat> Let's see what we have to steal this time. Hopefully something a bit less precarious than, you know, going deep down into a tomb. And... Ooh, a book. And, you know, the great fox, but... <coughs> The book seemed more interesting. Let's talk. I have need of your services once more. I'm listening. My work with Sevilla Stone has revealed that I need something special for my plans. It is a small item in the possession of a powerful court wizard. When you Ooh. do this, I will pay you well. Sure. Capital. Bring me the arrow of extrication. It has a key-shaped head. Braville's court wizard, Fathis Aran, recently acquired this unique item. You may kill Fathis if necessary, but not in the castle. My spy network will tell me when you have it. Return here with the arrow when you do. Now, we should get out of Melintus's house before we wear out our welcome. Shadow hide. Okay! I was hoping that, you know, we're in Coral, so maybe... Hey, I need something here in the city, but no, no such luck. Well, I am not particularly keen on killing said wizard, but if he had to have the item on him, well, it's gonna be a hard thing trying to snatch that out of his pocket. I'm gonna give it a bloody good try though. Not defeated not by a long shot. Um, where is the exit of this place? I always get so damn confused. You wouldn't think so. It's not the the houses aren't built too tightly, and the roads are nice and open. But uh, I suppose my sense of direction is a bit shot. When it comes to games like this. Well, I usually just bumble my way forward either way, so I guess that's part of the course. <clears throat> Fathis Aaron. Now Hi there. I believe, if I'm not mistaken, let's see if I'm not correct in that regard, that there is a tower near Braville called Fathers Aaron's Tower. Do you think we have to enter that place? I say there's a good chance of that happening. Um, well, what, uh, what, wait. Oh, yes, yes, wow. For saying I was like, but I don't need to go to the Priory, and I don't. I need to go past it. Right. Well, 
Seeing as we still have about 15 minutes left, I will meet you in Braville, where we should talk to a beggar and obtain some more information. Right, we are in Braville. That took roughly uh, 13, 14 minutes. So that's five plus nine. It's not bad, but yeah. Right. I can eat for a day with a single coin. Uh, for zero. Friends, four. <coughs> Fathis is also the wizard in the town outside the town. He keeps his most treasured items there, not in the castle. Only Fathis can open the door to the tower. But there is supposed to be a secret passage somewhere in the castle that takes him to his tower. Ooh. All right, let's see what the quest actually says. A beggar in Braville told me that Francis Aaron has claimed the ruined tower southeast of the city for himself. The door to the tower is impenetrable, but rumor has it that Francis uses a secret passage from inside the castle to get to it. I mean, give me a trebuchet or a ram and, or a catapult even. And Hey, even a ballista, and I'm sure, fairly sure, that impenetrable isn't the right word in this case. Hm. Well, let's see. Probably don't need to be sneaking just yet, but... So the good news is... What's well, this about? Here. It's about you not talking to me before I have actually loaded in so that I may see who is talking to me. Thank you. Okay. So. I think the idea here is that rather than stealing it from, as in pickpocketing it from the wizard, which, you know, is likely a bad idea, it's in his tower instead. Which of course still isn't great, it's a tower so there's not a whole lot of room to hide unless you really have stuffed it up with a lot of furniture. I mean, who's to say he hasn't? No, I'm not in the mood for talking. Get out of my way. Uh, but I'd much pr I'd prefer breaking in and stealing from a tower than trying to pickpocket someone who is a court mage. Right, so it's up here. Now, I don't believe that... Oh. Hmm. So it doesn't say that... Oh! Jesus! Okay, so there's a guard that I've just entered. Right, well, let's get our sneaking gear on. Uh, that is not sneaky. That is a hammer. Hammers are not particularly stealthy. Even the light ones. They make a noise when you hit something and... If you need a hammer to be a any use, it needs to have a certain size. So, a concealed hammer is not worth much. Uh, yes. And, uh, take this off. And Ring of the Grey. Hmm. That really isn't going to be any helpful. I suppose I should have sold that. Reflection, no. Really, this is the best one because it fortifies speed, which means that I can walk faster, which also means that I run faster, which in turn means that I can potentially outrun a pursuer. Of course, it doesn't really help not getting me into trouble, but, well, let's see. Okay, so far, it's so good. So we know that guard's in here. Yep, there. Yep. So. 
I found Fantas Aaron's room in Castle Bravil. Let's locate the arrow of extrication. I'll just do this. I wish I could put a lock spell on doors like this. Clothes. Calipers. Clothes. Hmm. Hmm. Probably just a guard, but still. That's just a regular. So. Oh! Ah ha ha! Well, I'll be. But first, let's see if there is any pilferable items that, you know, can be pilfered. Those will definitely non-searchable barrels. Well, that's almost as bad as torches and barrels. Yes. Ah, no. I've searched both chest and father's errant room. Neither had the arrow of extrication. I'm beginning to think it isn't here. Oh, really? This room doesn't seem to have enough wizardly stuff for a wizard of Fathas' stature. I wonder if there's a secret chamber where he keeps his valuable treasure. No, but there's a secret tower. For a second I thought I saw someone come in. I'm not okay with that. Ooh, shades. What good. Huh? Bravil Wizard's Grotto. Now that sounds dangerous. Which is exactly reason enough to head on in. Mm. Uh, oh my god, no. Please don't tell me that. I am technically invisible. I can make it better. Let's just see. How much of the minimap can I see? Not a lot. It's a fair distance, at least if you look at the overworld map, uh, from the tower to the castle. Also because the castle is in the northeastern end of town, which is opposite where the tower is relative to the city. Okay, he's walking back. He might not be that wizard himself, but... Well, there sure isn't a lot of room here. Okay. I am completely invisible, so it's just a matter of sight now. Are you Feathers Aaron? Oh! No! You're a Dramora! Well, I see no reason to spare you. I thought it was a wizard, but it's just the wizard's conjured up creatures. Okay, well that makes me a bit more easy at heart. Oh no, I'm not completely invisible. It's a hard gate. When does that stop me? Well, before I obtained the skeleton key, it most certainly did. <laughs> okay. Oh! Eh. Uh, oh! Holy beasts! What are we getting into here? Well, a maze. Lovely. You know, there is a trick. Well, I don't know if it's actually a trick to per se, but there is a trick to solving mazes like these. That is to follow either the left or the right wall. Of course. Oh. Oh, I had 
that sort of something uglier there. Looks like a. We will follow the right wall, but looks like underwater segments or just low water segment. It's not quite the same. I mean, you say it's a secret passage. What I see is a massive inconvenience. Okay, a lot of layers of this place, but um, right now we're just following the right wall around. Ooh. Regular old slaughter fish. This is deep. Is there more down here? Oh, I need to get air. Yeah, That is deep. Hmm. Oh, it looks like it's the way to go. Night eye does not help a lot. There may be treasure down here. Or them giant sort of fish even. Uh. Ooh, light armor skill increase. So you know how I was uh, talking about there isn't really a uh, creature of size that lives underwater? Well, there is this guy. What? Ah! That's a lot of trap meat. Suggests that it have eaten a boat with at least two people in it. Interesting. Okay. Well, we got a little up. And... Don't believe there is... Oh! Hmm. What does the minimap say? It says nothing, basically. The lair of the giant slaughterfish. Well, I am pleased that there was, in fact, something big in the water. Oh, the heartlands. Oh, that was not what I intended to use. Very easy. Here we come out. So, imagine this. You're a wizard, powerful enough to become the court wizard of the county. So, every day. Oh! I have no idea where I am. Where is this? What? That's a different direction. I'm right in the middle of the bay. That's no use. Ooh, but the treasure, huh? Aha! That's good enough. What's this? Oh, just a broken pan. Hmm. Right, back inside. I did not expect to 
do that. Well, I'm very pleased that there was one a giant fish, even if it was essentially just slaughterfish, but in a bigger scale. Still, the lack of sea monsters, despite plenty of bodies of water, have bothered me. So, when there is in fact something big, and in its own regard pretty dangerous, at least in terms of how much hit point it had, well, then at least there is something. And I'm glad I discovered it. So it will, because fish float up to the surface when they are dead, that guy is going to come up here very slowly. It's going to be creepy as all hell when he does. Right, now which way did I come from? Not this one, so that is... This looks towery. Should probably put our detect life ring back on again. It is rather useful to see that something is around the corner. Or close by. Hmm. Can't imagine it being easy to. Well, this was just a treasure room. Well, okay, I got the treasure from it. Now, had there been a bedroll, that would have been mighty convenient. Although, I would have had to, uh... pick up... some of the dice that I've obtained. Well, essentially just one, but still. Old wooden door. <laughs> Please. So, he's not a problem. But... You don't look... Okay. Well, I think she was just a summoner, but... Oh, common soul gem, yes. What's in the sack? Oh, hello! Money bags over here! Well, where there are conjurers, there are most certainly also bedrolls, as the conjurer needs to sleep. And she likely held the key. Conjurer, yep. Yeah. No, no key. Well, at least not on her. How about... Nope, no key here. Hmm. And no bedroll either. Do you not sleep, lady? So that is where I need to go. So that is the, well, not end game, but that, oh, hmm, there's another way in through the water tunnels. So that will suggest that all of this area over here is just containing treasure. Well, we shall proceed to obtain it then, as soon as we have discovered that there was nothing here. Novice retort, please. Okay. Yep. Yeah. That's a day draw, all right. Hello. Oh, no. Frost Atronach. Ah, the shadows made it look like a Daedroth. But uh, in either case, it's dead. That's somewhat valuable and useful. What else is here? What is this? Can't believe the cap. So this is essentially an alchemist's... Oh, there's a bedroll here. Aha! You just uh, happen to land on it. Well, then I have to get... Hold on.
bag. And yeah, we just yeah. Ta -da! Yes. What is it? This called black shell with white numbers. Gemini. and I. Cool. All right. Now to dig out the one D eight, and in the meanwhile. Pull the other one. It's in the dice tower. Out so that it's not in the way and thus affecting the roll. Not that it matters because, well, this is entirely based upon the roll of the dice. And it's not like I have any opinion against or for anything. That is pretty much the gist of this playthrough. Letting the dice decide. I think I'll do some more... So of course the one I'm looking for is at the bottom. Usually it's the D20 that's in the bottom. Not this one. No, it was down there along with the D4. Yes, I think I will do more playthroughs, more videos in the comment after all of this is done where the dice is the deciding factor. Right, let's rest it out. That will do. That will do. So, I don't expect to get a new text. I know we are a bit over time, but I'm kind of bitten by the exploration kind of it. So, bonuses to anything but intelligence and luck. Lowest stats is luck, endurance, and intelligence. Okay. Right. For roll number one with a new dice. That is a three. Willpower. That's good. Uh, roll number two. That's a seven. Personality. And a potentially roll number three. That is a one. Strength. So more carry weight, quicker regeneration of magicka, and people like me. Alright, good. I'll put the dice away so that I can knock them on the floor and send them flying everywhere. Not that it ever happened before. Manual of Spellcraft absorb skill. If you a feather, you wouldn't happen to have like a key line here, would you? Nope, that's a nail. Keeping the boards together. Oop, easy chest. What's in here? Just some money. What's in here? Just some money. Hmm. hmm. Perhaps the key is actually in the furthest reaches of this place. If that is the case, then it turns out that my sense for looting is actually to my advantage. I wouldn't be surprised if that was the case, but it's nice to uh, get an affirmative status on it. So, let's keep to the right wall. Mm -hmm. What's an alcove into the cave? Well, not craps. Yep. At least judging by the sound. Alright. Hmm. That's another mud crap. the location for a key. In fact, it looks like it's just a dead end, unintended with the bones and all. So, that will lead you back up and, well, they all lead back up. So, why? I don't have the key. Well, biscuits, that is going to make this a whole lot more complicated. 
Hmm. We don't have a quest marker, do we? Yeah! Hmm. No, that didn't reveal anything. Hmm. So, unless... It seems unlikely that I have... But there is... The thing that Oblivion's map is not great with, well Skyrim's wasn't great with that either, is multiple layers. Needs a key. That's all well and good, but where is a set key? Is it lying on a... Poison metal, huh, oh, York? Now, why would a wizard need something like this? To be fair, this is the lair of a conjurer, not the wizard himself. Though I don't see why he would allow this. Then again, the court of Braville is pretty much less affair. If someone doesn't pose a problem, then no one is bothered to lift a finger against them. And those people that do lift fingers are usually more troublesome they're, even though they're trying to be helpful. Sure, uh, That was not what I wanted to do. I looted this one when I looked into this one. So many potions went. Lord knows I have no use for those. Um, has anyone seen a key? Taproot? Nope. What else is there? Venison? Ah! Ogre's teeth. No, I think not. Uh, unless... Unless... We have to go through the water and more so than uh, yeah, off of this one. See what it looks like from the layout is that there is a way in past the door, which we don't have a key for. So it seems we will be doing some diving. So, down, possibly another layer, let's see, ah, well, I don't have the jewel of the robot equipped, Woo. did I not equip it, or did I just, oh, I just unequipped the other ring, Woo. that was close. Oh no, I equipped a mundane ring instead. Oh, that could have gone bad. Brass pearl ring, yep, not the most valuable, but I will take it. So that is... Yes. The other side of this door. Still need a key. But uh, I reckon we can get that in the tower. Still, doesn't seem like a whole lot of shortcut. In fact, it seems more like a bother to go this way rather than, you know, go across. Okay, it's on armor, so that's likely not the wizard. It never hurts to be s sure. Hmm? Oh, yeah, a Dromora. Well, you're definitely not the wizard, so... Valknas. Ooh, Grand Ring of Endurance. Yoink! Aha! Legion Water Walking Potion, but I suppose in this case it would actually make sense for him to have that. Or um, maybe not, because water walking doesn't give you breath under the water. So 
So in that regard, it's kind of useless. Right, this looks... Hmm. Coming to investigate. Yeah, I figured. That's a big crate. Nothing of value. Okay, well, got him down. A rat, and more importantly, a nerve root. Mm -hmm. So this helps towards blade. Could just as easily go hand to hand. Nothing is nearby. All right. Well, that seems so. Fathis Aaron's tower, Bravil Wizard's lair. Okay. So that is not his tower either. Well, I suppose we'll have to go through here. And let's see. Oh. Well, hmm. the green arrow eludes me. Where are you? That suggests that it might be a fairly big place. Not that I'm in the least bit surprised, but well. Hmm. Oh, what have we got there? Something, f something fairly large. But it's a closed room. <laughs> yeah, not today, sir. Figured when it's a closed room, closed room, and not anywhere near where we need to go, that it's just containing treasure. Well, it was an optional room, but I don't like leaving loose threads like that around. Very hard. As well as this is a Thieves Guild quest. Still though, the level of enemies found in here tenders more towards one of, well, a more seasoned uh, general adventurer. a dagger, a skull, and some candles. I mean, at least it wasn't locked away, but why? Why put that in a room on its own? Hmm. Okay. Conjurers. I don't trust them over a barrel. And we got more. 
Lovely. Could you all open this gate? All right, I'll do it myself. Ooh. Get off! Whoa! Whoa! Damn. I think it's time to switch arrows. Let's see. Up. Uh, 647 and silver arrows are 658. Conjurer Adept. Okay, so that's the boss of these conjurers. Still doesn't explain why they go to so much trouble locking themselves out of their own places, because none of them have a key. Why would you lock that with a very hard lock? Are you daft? Well, <laughs> you live at the bottom of a tower, the mercy of a careless wizard, so there's a fairly good chance that you are. Fathers Errant Tower. Right, we will end the episode here. It has been longer than I planned, but it was worth it, I think. So in the next one, we shall attempt to steal this arrow, which is actually a key, or maybe it's a key that's actually an arrow, from Fethis Aran's tower, and make our merry way back to Coral. But that's all for next time, so until then, take care.